I don't think he needs to practice. If White Gun does any damage right now, it'll expect a, the it'll audience be a win. to cheer. And that, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean to White Gun, but let's face it, when you get double perfected like that, well, you know, things in the real world in the real world are a little different than things in the online world. Yeah. You know, uh, we saw him do two wake up ultras, which maybe works online. You right. know, or maybe exactly. you would do if you had nothing to lose. Yes. Right. Like if well, that's part of the issue with playing online. Like you can definitely get matchup experience, but the the mentality is different because you're just at home playing by yourself with literally nothing to lose aside from yeah. your points and your time. Who cares, right? You didn't fly across the country or the world, <laughs> you know, like then the stakes are different. Yep. Right. And it makes everyone play different. Yeah, of course. And here we go, Narex versus White Gun. White Gun. Okay, got a little right. void in there. Alright, we did it. Alright. Narex, of course, uh, one of the members of Team Korea last year, making his return. Nice, here we go. Now his execution is on point, but good focus dash cancel from Narex to get out of that situation. Might have been an unblockable. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Just enough active frames on that low forward. Oh, good stuff. Wow. There we go. White, White Gun, gun gets getting around. in there. No, I heard that once he knocks you down, you're done. That's the truth. And and but he just never got a chance to knock Kaiser down at all. All right, so Narek's gonna back away, build a little meter. Uh oh, oh nice here's that stuff. knockdown. Okay, what mix-up does he have here? Oh wow, he tried to opt just like the slide it looked like, but it still went the wrong way, interestingly enough. Uh oh, Oops, an execution error. Yeah, super jump straight up, not what Narek wanted for sure. Nice chase down. Oh, great stop, low forward getting right under burn kick. Okay, oh. EX burn kick to get up. Ooh. All right. Oh, trick. Oh, wow. He could have ultra right there. Uh oh. Botch combo by Narex. Oh, no. This could be it. Great block from Narex. Oh. oh and White Gun takes him. game one over Narex. You see Team Canada 1 there cheering on Team Canada 2. Josier at the edge of the stage. Now, who are they going to send up next? Who do they want to send up to fight against Ibuki? Is it going to be. I think Laugh should go. Ryu versus La Laugh can fight, Laugh can fight Viper. I mean, oh, excuse me. I uh, never mind. I'm all messed up. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. It's early in the morning, man. Morning is not the optimal time for fighting game players. No, it's not. Let me tell you. Ah, uh, Street Eleven from Canada is coming up next. Yeah, the they got a Canadian Gen Korean player? spy. Gen player? I, I think he plays Gen. Okay. It's the battle of the century. Fight! So it looks like they're saving Kim Legend, the Blanca player, laugh and infiltration for the end. I don't know, man. I mean, I guess... I mean, to be honest with you, the, with the way White Gun performed yesterday and the way he's performing now against Narex, I feel like you don't want to give this guy the momentum. Right. Yeah, like... Uh, White Gun has the potential just to run rough shot over yeah, everyone Yeah, I, I right would now. probably stop the bleeding. Yeah, right, You know, exactly. like, why... Why make it interesting? Right? I do like the idea of setting Laugh up against him. Try to take out Ibuki as soon as possible. She's such a dangerous character. Yeah. She can defeat pretty much anybody. And I think it was these two that were playing all morning long, actually, though. Uh-oh. And uh, Street Eleven was holding his own, so maybe that's why he's playing right now. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Then that's a, that's a good move, then, by Team Korea. And you notice that, uh, of course, uh, Gen's mask changes when he switches stances, as we talked about yesterday. Oh, there he goes, switched again. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, gives you a little better understanding of, of what he's doing. <laughs> it's good for 
the Gen player, but it's also good for the opponent as well. We saw Shen take advantage of the different jump distances between the modes to really confuse the opponent. Yeah, that's tough to see unless he's in that costume. Uh-oh. Yeah, and if he's in the costume, you're giving away information to your opponent on right. which jump you're going to do. Right. Oh, got him with the over. Tried to do double overhead, not sure why. Ooh. And then went for a reset instead of a combo, but he gets the combo anyway. Uh-oh. Uh, Look at the expression on White Gun's face right now. That is an is angry man. Yes, he is That is zone. an angry man. He was feeling... Probably no. feeling shame for his country. Dude, the internet is a brutal place. <laughs> I hope he did not go on the internet at all <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> hey, it happens. Oh, wow. Wake up focus. Gets it, but doesn't crumple. Oh, misses a botched throw. Uh, oh. That was an interesting choice there. Must have been like a fake fake overhead. Oh, I oh like wow. Him Punishes to... that. You know, that's really tough to, to, to punish sometimes. Yeah. When Ken misses that uppercut. You expect him to do another kick. You're scared. Yeah, and then yeah. He's, he just lands and blocks. And you're like, oh, I missed it. Now third round, both these guys almost even in meter. Oh, best way to punish a whiffed waterfall kick like that from Gen. Low strong charge in the pause. That's the best way to punish that. Low strong what? Balrog rush in the pause. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As we saw yesterday. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. FADC is sure out why. of the... Ooh, that was kind of a neat little trip there. Oh, okay. Nice. All oh, right. Okay. Oh, wow. Here come the Ibuki shenanigans. Yep. Didn't do a whole lot of damage, but it was extremely confusing. Yes. Very first time I saw oh. that, no surprise, came from Sako. Oh, nice. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh no. Good tech this that is not looking sure. good for I don't, Street. I don't know why White Gun is just not going for any of those kunai mix-ups. Yeah. After the throw. But maybe not as easy to set him up. Oh, oh no. no. Street misses his combo right there, and that's the that's the game. All right, now Laugh is going to go. Yep. Yeah, stop the bleeding now. Stop the bleeding. Team Korea is going to get a little bit nervous here, especially after how they lost last last night. <sighs> going up 4-1, and then PR Rog just dominated. One, two, three, four. And PR Rog not only dominated, but, you know, they took that round off of that pause that I hinted at. And then he still won after playing really horribly for three fourths of that first round that, of that final round. Dude, honestly, I, I feel like Street Eleven just gave it to him. I think so. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. Maybe he was beating his ass, dude. He started the third round with full meter, which he didn't deserve. <laughs> he I heard, only I, got. I heard he had full meter though. At the at, in when that pause happened. What? I, I'm not sure. I would have to what? see the replay. I would really? have to see the replay. All right, maybe, maybe. I felt like he got that meter just because he got the round and he got to, he had to kill him off. Right, right. Well, whatever, whatever, whatever. But All then right. even then, PRA got hit by that crazy combo from Blanca from. Kim Legend, remember that? Oh, Focus the crumple yeah, Focus forward. Crumple Low Forward Ultra. Yeah, yeah link into Ultra. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, PR Rog really pulled it out yesterday. Oh, and yeah. So you got to imagine Team Korea is a little salty about that being sent to losers back in the first round. I mean, if you have lap and infiltration on your team, that is not what you're expecting to have happen at all. <laughs> we need the cosplayer cam. Oh yeah, got Vanessa. Nothing. Vanessa and Tally back in the house here. Shout out to them. How they? How you? How you girls doing? What's that? You're working the smoke machine. <laughs> I'm gonna make a bad. I want a smoke machine. I was gonna make a bad pun, but I'm not. What? All right. All right. Back to work. White Gun versus Laugh. Let's see if Laugh can stop this bleeding here. White Gun has defeated two opponents now. Definitely showing his strengths and why he is a strong Ibuki player. Yeah, number one ranked Ibuki on Xbox Live, or definitely single digits, if not number one. 
All right, here comes Laugh, jumping in with the uh, jumping jab. All right, Laugh has got him on the run now. Oh, wow. Ooh. There we go. La oh, okay. This is his Hit him, select, please. please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was just like, don't get perfect it again. Dude, uh -oh. that, did you hear the background music? It was like all building up, and right when it reached the maximum, that's when Laugh threw the Death fireball. fireball. Yep. Kills him with the fireball. And the battle continues. Fight! All right. We'll see what uh, White has got up his sleeve this time. Is he going to do the uh, EX Neckbreaker to counter Laugh's fireball? Or is he going to try to jump in? Oh, I don't like that. Why would you burn your meter like that? I know. Even if you had hit him, what would it have done? Nothing. It accomplishes nothing. Now he can't. Now Laugh can throw fireballs without worrying about it, uh, because uh, White Gun doesn't have his meter. All right, okay, there, we go. there we go. Oh, burns it again. He All right. Uses it right away. I don't know, man. It's such a utility, you know. Yeah. And uh, he's also not using Ultra 2, which will go through fireballs. So basically, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, whatever. <laughs> he's the Ibuki expert. I don't know anything about Ibuki. But I do know that EX Neckbreaker and Ultra 2 both go through fireballs. Yeah, meter is so important. We know that. In fact, my last episode of Yeah, Pack I saw that. Meter, meter management. Yeah, there and you I go. gave you a shout out on there too. Thank you, James Chen. I remember you're the only one that understands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, White Gun, nice little dash up ultra. Got some good damage, but again, burns his meter right away, oh, giving Laugh the ability. Nicely, well played by Laugh. Mm -hmm. Extremely well played. Not panicking after getting hit by that, by that ultra, knowing that White Gun was basically out of options. Like, what was he going to do at that point? He can't ultra through fireballs. He can't EX Neckbreaker through fireballs. So what does he do? Jab, jab, forward, fireball. Yep. Good Nicely stuff. Done. Just waiting for him to try to get in. Yes. And uh, coming up next, uh, representing Vancouver on Team Canada 2 is Hi Hi Yami Yumi. Hi Hi Puff. Hi Hi Puffy Amy Yumi. That was a reference. Uh, uh, somebody hit me on Twitter and said that, that was like a. It's an anime. Well, no, it's not an anime. It's, no, no, it's, it's a like cartoon a on Cartoon Network. Yeah. Based uh, off of like two. Team, team Titans or something. Oh, know. no, it's based off of two J pop singers who got their own cartoon based off of them. That's pretty sweet, man. Yeah. Hi, hi, Puffy, Amy, you mean. Or. But did he, his is Yami Yumi though, right? Or, yeah. Yeah. H-H-P-Y-Y. -Y. All right, and he's gonna be playing Bison, uh, Bison, which can be a difficult match for Ryu. Yeah, I, like a, I think it's a 5-5 matchup, just because I've seen Vi and Andy OCR go at it uh, so often, and it always seems to be pretty, uh, Pretty even. Laugh texted his girlfriend. I mean, looking at his notes, I don't think he has any notes on Hi Hi Puffy Yami Yumi. But he does have notes on Bison. Yes, definitely. I'm trying to remember, like, this is how you punish EX Psycho Crusher. This is the option select on how to stop the teleport plus this, you know, stuff like that. Those are the kind of notes that yes. you expect to see. Oh, here's my character specific cross up, you know? Right. It could be really useful to have something like that, especially with the way unblockables and everything are working. You know, you can have a list Definitely of all. Definitely, somebody needs to make an app, an unblockable, a hard to blockable app that tells you <laughs> how to do it and how to block it. Somebody want to get that together? Hit me up. H H P Y Y coming in against Lap. Oh. Probably not the setup, probably empty neutral jump, not the setup that Laugh was going for. <laughs> nice Ow. stuff. Yeah, with Bison, it's kind of tricky. When he focuses, he does that really far lean back. Yeah. So when you want to focus the fireball, you actually want to focus it as late as possible so it get, he absorbs it early in his animation so you can dash through sooner. Oh, uh, that makes sense. If you focus too early, he leans too far back, and the fireball 
takes too long to get to you. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh he wanted Oh, no. Wow. Laugh is like, yep, all part of the plan. I'm just going to yep. whip this uppercut. You're going to mess up your punish, and I'm going to do the real uppercut. Uh, Bison's still very dangerous, though. Ryu can't throw the fireballs uh, when Bison has his charge for Ultra 2. And he can use the uh, EX Scissor Kicks to go through fireballs as well. So Ryu's fireball game is a little limited right now. Oh, wow. Great whiff punish from Laugh. That's footsies. A great kick from... Ooh, almost chipped. Wow, he went and EX'd it. Ooh. He bet it all on that EX. Oh, no. Chip. So much chip. Oh, where's the Oh, rest? no. Oh, oh no. no. Punish. Why no punish? He had the stand oh roundhouse. That's gosh. all he needed to do. This is what separates the men from the boys, James Chen. Your ability to perform under pressure. Yep. You know, laugh. The world champ. One half of the world champ. Uh, Street Fighter Cross Second Tag Team Champions. You know, travel the world, no stranger to high pressure situations, been competing at a high level for many, many, many years. You know, like, those are, that's the type of clutch that you develop. Nerves, nerves yep. of steel. And it's really tough. You can only develop those by going to more and more events. Yeah, that's experience, you know. You're not going to develop that kind of clutch at home. No, online. certainly not. No. I mean... Maybe once we get online to the point where you're, you know, playing online for like five thousand dollars a pop, then you can feel <laughs> feel the pressure. Then yes, playing for those real life five thousand points. You know what I mean, James? Yeah, Chip. but I mean the the hardest part about that is that even then you got a slight lag problem, and the game just never feels as. There are definitely different online tactics than there are right. offline because you can get away with things a lot more thanks to lag and reactions. You're basically playing against people who have a slightly slower reaction time right. every every match. <laughs> yeah, it's like they've been uh like they've had a couple of drinks. And uh sweet. Someone is already working on an unblockable guy nice, in his spare nice. time. Excellent. Perfect. Oh, oh wow so smart. <laughs> <laughs> wow just it wasn't even over yet. And Laugh just looked at him. <laughs> and then and then turned away for a second. And then looked at him and smiled and shook his head. <laughs> Laugh was like, don't oh do any wake up head stomps on me. That that was awesome. Good stuff, Laugh. One half of the world champion Street Fighter Cross second champ tam team champ. Yeah, tag team champions. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. It's all good. <laughs> so Laugh uh, stops the bleeding, uh, gets, um, you know, takes care of uh, White Gun, as well as High High Puffy Yami Yumi. And next up, uh, he's going to be going up against Raiden. Raiden, if I'm not mistaken, was a Chun Li user. We don't see a lot of Chun Li's in tournaments anymore these days. Really a shame. I don't. I, I don't think she's as bad as people think she is. Chun is black, dude. We have one player at Wednesday Night Fights who uses Chun Li in this really strangely methodical way, and he's very hard to fight. It's just. It's weird. All he does is walk up and throw, and walk up and sweep. It's like the most. It's weird. And then he backdashes away from everything. It's really strangely effective. I have. He's. He's really hard to beat. <laughs> Sometimes those things can be difficult. All right. <laughs> Justin's got something to say. Yeah, I know. Justin wants to jump up here. Yes. So what's going on, Justin? Pretty good. That last match was a heartbreaker for um, I can't. I'm not gonna pronounce his name. Hi, hi, Puffy Yami Yumi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna call him Puff. Puff. All right. Yeah. That's a lot. That's he, a lot easier. He, he should have had that first round. You know, there were a lot of missed opportunities by both players. That's true. By both. Maybe this is the. It's their first game, and you know they have to adjust really well and stuff. Yeah. Tournament nerves. You know, it's still. 
it's still extremely early in the morning to fighting game players. Yeah. I mean, everybody yeah. else is definitely, uh, you know, having lunch. <laughs> and we're, you know, going to go in the church. Right, yeah, church. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, nice. Ow, is this going to work? Oh, yeah, it's going to work. Yeah, so. Oh, not enough damage, though. Yeah. Right in uh, closes the life gap lead, but unfortunately, Ooh. not going to be enough. Yes. Laugh burns a little bit of meter right there. Takes that first round. Yes, Laugh is, is um, playing really strong right now. And Raiden needs to do a lot of work, especially with Chun Li, because this character. She doesn't do any damage. No, no she damage. doesn't have any. She's, oh my, look at that. Look at the life she lost. Yeah. Oh, she is. Very fragile. Yeah, nice right there. Going through the fireball. She shouldn't be focusing that much. She should be using that more that move more to go through fireballs. The Hazanshu? Yeah, that's why he's, she's trying to stay in that range. Mm. But because in this version, mm. if you stay in that range, Ryu could just it's, can jump easily because she lost her down for a light kick from Super. So the anti air is not as Oh, strong. they got rid of that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, back throw. Apparently that was way too powerful. Oh, oh, oh nice option yeah, select that was by, good. by Laugh. And uh, next up, I think, is Graham Howard. Graham Howard? What character does he use? Graham. I don't remember. Wait. Let's guess right now. Hurry up. He looks like a... Uh... <sighs> I like Balrog. No, nah, he's not a Balrog player. He's like a... Uh... Balrog, man. <laughs> uh... Let's see, he's not a Buki. He's not Chun. Can't be Bison either. So you live in a Ryu? Maybe. He might be a Ryu player. I think he's a Ryu player. No way. Why would you send a Ryu to fight last Ryu? Well, I think it's only him and Shinakuma left, and Shinakuma plays Akuma. 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 Surprise. Okay. Anyway, so uh, thank you for joining us here. At Canada Cup 2012, we are in the midst of the International 5-on-5 Exhibition. We got Team Canada 2 going up against Team Korea. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Really? Hold that shit. Yep. All right. Yep. All right. Well, you just remembered. No, I never, I never watched him play before. I, I just looked at him and he says he looks like he likes to press crotch and jabs. All right. Well, your Yomi is out of control. Uh, so the winner... Of Korea. <laughs> <laughs> and people wonder why? What makes Justin good at fighting games? That Yomi. Uh, the winner of Team Korea versus Team Canada 2 will go on to fight Team USA 1. Yes. Which is you. Yes. Uh, who would you rather. <laughs> who would you rather fight? Canada 2 or Korea? I mean, I want to play Canada 2. <laughs> But, <laughs> but I, you're I, probably going to be uh, playing Korea. Korea, which is fine. Yeah. All right. Classic Ooh. match. Uh, I got to say, though, that costume gives you a significant disadvantage. Yeah, it's definitely not something you want to go outside with. <laughs> I think. All right. Uh, Graham, Graham uh, playing uh, pretty Ooh, solid right nice. here, very patient. Methodically making his way to the corner. He's focusing. He doesn't want to lose that life damage. Nice tech right there. All sweeps. Usually when Boa gets right in the corner, it's really hard for you to get out, especially now since he, they took out his Yeah, you Tatsu. can't just jump Tatsu out of it. Uh, oh, nice headbutt. Just, that was yeah, really good. Yeah, max range good. headbutt. Nice. Yeah, you don't really see that much often. No, nah, people yeah. don't really throw fireballs like that anymore. Oh, nice. Whips the low oh, jab yeah. into going throw. In. He's, like, he's, 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 he's holding down for the headbutt. But now he has ultra, so he doesn't. He could just ultra from a farther range. But he's not doing it. Oh, he tried right there. You saw. You saw the little yeah, yeah, yeah. The shimmy. He flinched. Didn't yeah. have his charge. Oh, he's just letting him jump in for free. I think uh, Laugh's oh. jump timing is kind of throwing him off. Yeah. And Laugh has made his way out of the corner, but it doesn't really. Oh, nice. Okay, now it kind of matters. Oh, yeah, nice now throw it again. Matters. Now he's gonna go for a combo now. Oh, he thought he was gonna. He's gonna ultra. He's trying to bait okay. it. Oh my god. Did he oh really get hit by that? Oh my god. He wasn't prepared to do his down fears when Ryu jumped in. And now Laugh is going to run away. And uh, he's going to take this with a timeout. Oh, no! I was expecting a turn punch right there. 
Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, we'll see okay. if Graham Howard can recover now. Yeah. Once Graham got the Ultra, I think his whole thing was like, okay, I'm gonna Ultra through the Fireball, and then he just totally forgot yeah. his, his, in general, his strategy in general. Yeah, he basically let, uh, he let the pressure off, yeah. right? Like, he had Laugh with his back against the wall. And he gave Laugh a little chance to breathe, and then Laugh just made his way out oh, of the corner. Oh, where's the crouching Pierce? Dude, this guy is not on his NTOs right now. Yeah. And now he's he's got full super. Like, this is a tough situation, right? You have all this super, but you can't really use it all in one shot because it would be kind of a waste. Yes. And then you're not but, even going to go for your EXs. See, but, but now he has to use a super. Yes, right. He should just use the super and try to close all, but oh. then he spends it oh. by banking on the overhead. Okay. He gets, he gets a freebie. Though. Yeah, he gets this though. But I prefer he should have just done raw ultra once he landed from a DP. Yeah. It's tough though as a Oh player no, player. he did it with punish. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Alright. Laugh feeling very generous. No, 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 no. Because the thing is, if Borog's rush punch is deep enough, Ryu can punish with fierce DP. If it's super deep, so he expected right. that the rush punch to be super deep, mm. because it's easier for Ken to punish that with, with his uppercut for sure. Because it goes further. Yeah, it goes further. So Laugh almost having a super and Ooh, having a I super is his is his best friend. Right, because once he has the super, oh. then Balrog can no longer do any of his dash punches. Yes, because he will punish with super on block. Oh, where's the ultra? You're charging. Oh, nice sweep right there. Yeah, Re Ryu can even uh, reversal the sweep. Yeah. So Barog's options are extremely limited. Just he's standing gonna have Yeah, he's going to have to get him to uh, to use his meter for something. Otherwise, his options are going to be limited for the yeah. rest of the round but until he uses that super. Yeah, but even if he eats the super right now, it's okay because since Barog has a life lead, and then Ryu will have no meter for the remaining of the match right. to Barog's So maybe, maybe Graham could just you know, go in with the dash punches anyways. Yeah, like not not worry not not having to worry about that. Like, okay, I took the super yeah, no good stuff. But now I have the the, the the meter advantage. Right. Instead of trying to play this slow game because he's probably thinking like, oh my god, he has a super. Yeah, I feel like the longer time that passes, the more grandma's going to get nervous. Yeah. Oh sick. That was sick. Oh no, oh, he, he tried to uppercut right there. He he Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh no. I, All right, he's gonna throw it one more time. Oh, nice KO. Ooh, oh, that was ow. a sweet punish. Oh no, my he's, gosh. He's okay. Just back away, back he's away. Okay. Just play a lame though. Back away. Timer scam this dude. Ooh. Oh, man. Nice. And he ties it up to 3 to 3. What? And we're probably gonna have infiltration to come up right now. Oh, no, no. I see the Blanca, man. Oh, I see Gangnam Style, Kim Legend. Man. Oh, okay. I see. The idea is that. Uh, infiltration. They're gonna save infiltration for the potential mirror match against Shinakuma. Yeah. Uh, but it's still a very difficult match uh, for, Bob for Blanca. Blanca. Yeah, see, but the thing is, Kim Legend, he's he no played, ordinary He Blanca. played the match very well against PR Rog once we saw yesterday. Yeah, he it was, was really, really close. And usually, even though you had um, characters in this game do have bad matchups, you should always, your best matchup should always be your worst matchups. Ah, rules, wor words of wisdom to live by. Yes. Yeah, 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 I get you. You should specialize yes. in your bad matchups. Yeah, you should be like, okay, these are the the ultimate options that I have to, to fight these matchups instead of knowing your your best matchups because even if you have like matchups that are in your favor, it's basically you don't have to play completely perfect because you can make a couple it of It allows you to there. play not as tight or yeah. kind of it allows a few errors on your part. But yes. if you focus and specialize in your bad matchups then it makes you a stronger player. Yes. I mean, you did a little bit of that last week. Was that last week? It was pretty much last week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was you versus Snake Eyes. Uh, Rufus versus Zangief. Definitely one of the harder matchups for, for Rufus. It's just because I, I can't use that peak pressure. Right. So basically playing a slow game up to like time overs all day. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we'll see what Kim Legend has got in store for Graham Howard. Yeah, this is like my favorite stage music, I swear. Oh, yeah. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. The stages have really come a long way in Street Fighter, although I was disappointed they didn't add any in 2012. Oh. Yeah. Right. Oh, nice. Misses the rush point. Blanca's gonna... Oh, nice neutral roundhouse. Huh. Surprise on that one. Ooh. Uses the go. EX to get some free damage. Because in a charge character versus charge character match, you should always you the other, you always want to have a life advantage. Right. Whoever gets a life advantage first definitely can kind of slow play. Yeah, because you will always have a charge compared to them because they have to walk forward. 
Yeah, it's like yeah. right now, Balrog is just going in too hard right now. Blanca likes to fight Balrog in the corner because he wants to potentially do random jump back groundhouses to his dash punches into ultra. That's the only way Blanca can get maximum damage to you. So if you just play off and make him come to you, he can't really do that. But you have to get the life lead in order to make yeah. him come to you. Yeah, but then see now he's like, all right, I'll just sit here and just poke all day because I have a little bit of advantage. Oh, see, now he has a good amount. Yeah, so now Kim Legend oh. can kind of sit there. Oh, oh. What, what? Wrong button. Oh, nice standing strong. Very good. I did not expect him to do that. Yeah, that rainbow roll can be difficult to deal with. Oh, nice. He's going to have a super. Time's going to be up, too. Oh, doesn't doesn't convert. Nice. He used the EX. Oh, wow. wow. Auto correct. Okay. Now he should just keep away. Oh, oh yeah. Don't even do anything. Don't even, he, does, he wants to play it safe. He completely wants to wow. play it safe. Graham Howard. Playing super solid. Ooh. Yeah, that, that's probably Bog's best poke against Blanca. The sweep? Yep. Nice block right there. He, ooh. That was a good reaction on the back dash. Kim Legend is doing a lot of risky up balls. I think he's... he's I think he's trying to play him like he's playing Eduardo, the uh -huh. rock. Yeah. But the thing is, even though people play the same character, it doesn't mean they exactly play the same. Right. Everyone has different play styles regardless. See, Eduardo wouldn't use EX like that. He would like to save the meter to do to, to combo to a super. Oh, wow. See, like Eduardo did not do that at all. But, but he actually knows it. Maybe he's because since there's so many Blancos in Canada. Oh, nice. I'm just like, like, he's used to this match. Yeah. Graham doing very well for himself. He is on the verge of putting away Kim Legend. Yeah, and he's going to on a 4-3. <laughs> oh, this could be it right here. He almost has enough to Ooh. chip him. Okay, now he can chip him. Wow. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, he's fine. No, he's, he's, got, fine. he's going to the ultra. Ah, uh, he's fine. Block, hold left. Oh, my God. Hold left. <laughs> hold left. Hold left, right. Oh, left, huh? It's hard to tell. Good blocks. Good blocks from him. But now we're going to have the anchor infiltration. And remember, this is only one game. So, like, it's, it's not like it's a set. So, one game, anyone could beat anyone. So, I feel like this bog player has to beat infiltration. If he doesn't beat Infiltration, I don't it's going to come down to the Shinakuma yeah. versus Infiltration mirror match. And I don't think Akuma can do it. Uh, and I don't understand why they did not save the Abuki player for later. Well, I think based on uh, White Gun's performance yesterday, uh, I think it was clear that he couldn't handle the pressure. Thus, it would be best to put him up first so that he could do some damage without any yeah. like real I mean, pressure. Yeah, he, is yesterday he was ho hold carrying the entire team on his back yeah. as anchor. Yeah, he is an online warrior. Right. All right, now both of these guys just chilling, waiting, running the shot clock. Yeah. All right, let's go, guys. We don't have all day. We got like 10 more matches. Uh, next um, up, I let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then depending. This is eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that, that already happened. All right. All right. We got a lot of matches. Yeah. And remember, it's a lot of matches because it's a five on five. It's not one v one. Right. I'm not quite sure who's who's waiting. Who's uh, waiting for who here? I think Infiltration and Life are having their little secret meeting, you know, as usual. The this is because they're they're like they're they're very in sync together, so it's definitely nice. Yeah, I mean, you know, we I, I was talking a little bit yesterday about how lots of times you have uh, players that work well together, and you have one who is kind of like the tournament performer, and yeah. then one who is like the scientist. Yeah, and they uh, they share information. The scientist provides the other one with all the information that he needs in order to perform well in the tournament. Uh, the tournament performer 
can, you know, perform well in tournaments and make the entire group look good. Yeah. I feel like in this situation, Laugh and Infiltration, Laugh is the scientist, Infiltration is like the, the muscle. Yes. You know? But, so, but Laugh ain't no ain't Oh yeah, no, 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 Laugh. Himself. Oh yeah, no, 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 absolutely not. Oh no, never. Um. <laughs> All right. All right, we got we got a match. Solar Eclipse, guys, don't change the stage, please. Thank you. I'm gonna say they were just talking about what to have for dinner tonight. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Oh. Like after you play this guy and we win the whole thing, the what do you want to eat? It's like, well, you know, I didn't have any steaks since I've been here. <laughs> All right, he's playing a fireball game right now. Nice infiltration going in. Wow, with the walk back. Oh, nice head, but wow, Whoa, that, that he looks messed such it up. a bad angle. Yeah, nah, he, I think Infiltration messed that up. Like, once oh, Boro gets knocked down, yeah, I mean, be it's over. basically, yeah, like, what can he do? Yeah. Throw. You can throw that. That's really good. Wow, he has, I'm surprised at the up selects. That is crazy. Oh, that was an ultra, man. Again with the same setup. Okay, that Infiltration probably knows that that's his bad habit right now. Oh, my God. If he did jab short. Jab short, yeah. Headbutt. Jab short, that would have yeah, been that really big. Oh, that was Ultra again. No! Oh! Show you, yep, the X uppercut to get the most damage. Oh, wow. La oh, no! Why would you do that, man? Wow. Well, it would have put him in a great advantage, but it still would have been hard to grab. Just jab, jab, short headbutt. Yeah. That was a heartbreaker for Canada right there. All of Canada is face palming in, in front of their computers right now. All right. Graham now takes a little of the way. Yeah, he's playing more offensive right now. Oh, wow. Nice combo right there. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Oh, wow. That was close. Infiltration is doing a lot of risky focuses. Oh my gosh. That was so Did nice. Did he miss that? Okay. Alright. Oh my god. Graham is going in so hard. Wow. Oh, wake, wake up, walk up, walk throw. Oh my god. The headbutt again. He tried to go for a He tried to go for the throw. Okay. That's why. Alright. Because if he went for the throw, he would have gotten into a 50 super bad mix up that could have potentially ended the round right there. So he got kind of a little greedy. Because he just wanted to end it right there. Wow, that combo so far. Yeah, and that is an armor breaker, so he cannot wake up EX. So he has to block the mix-up. Oh, nice whiff punish. Oh, I thought that was going to cross up. Oh, here we go. On the corner. In control. Yeah. Ambiguous cross-up. A hard to blockable. Oh, stun. Oh, wow. <laughs> Infiltration looked at his team and was like, don't worry about it. I got this, guys. All right. Going to lay him out. Build a little meter. Make him think about it. Infiltration working on a perfect right now. Graham's gonna need a dun 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 dun. All right, that's good. Step one. He should have done the ultra though. Yeah, there's no reason to use a super when you still have ultra. Oh, oh still alive though. No, it's done. Oh my gosh! There's Imagine. You, there's Imagine that would have. There's nothing you could do about that. All right. Well, Graham played good though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well played by Graham. Uh, definitely had Team Korea nervous. Look at laugh. Laugh is like, Laugh looked at him, he's like, don't you do that shit ever again. All right, now we got Shinakuma. Uh, gonna be playing, you guessed it, Akuma versus Infiltration, the Evo World Champion. Yeah. So if you guys are just joining us, uh, we want to thank you for joining us here on day three of Canada Cup. This is the international five-on-five -five exhibition. Uh, right now we have Team Korea going up against Team Canada 2. The winner of this will play uh, Team USA, your team, Mr. Justin Wong. After this, I believe we're going to have Team Canada 1 versus the Netherlands. Yesterday, Team Canada 1. I think, I think they're going to do USA 2. First, because uh, the reason why they went to losers is because uh, some of the members were not present. Oh, at the Southeast time. Asia? No, USA too. Some of the members from there were not here. But now they're all here. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we have USA two versus uh, Team Southeast Asia. 
Uh, team USA 2, of course, can, uh, Ricky Ortiz's team, consisting of uh, Ricky, Filipino Champ, PR Balrog, Van Geef, and, and Alex, uh, Alex Valle. Valle. Team NorCal plus one. Yes, yes. And uh, Southeast Asia, uh, GamerBee's team from Taiwan. Uh, it's GamerBee, Human Bomb, Kaiser, Zien, uh, Sien, and Z. Z. Uh, so I think that'll be coming up next. The winner of that match will play Team Japan yes. in the winner's finals. Dun, dun, dun. Godzilla. Judge? For what? They asked for a judge. Are we doing blind pick? Uh, how can you do blind pick? What's blind pick about it? Blind pick on ultras? I don't know. You can't really. That doesn't, that doesn't matter. I want to know. Tell me. Tell me, baby girl, because I need to know. Huh? Sorry guys, we are having a little issue right here and we're going to try to find out what it is to tell you and inform you guys what's the wait. But we have Lapchi here about to deliberate this. Blind Ultra Pick. Blind Ultra Pick? Blind Ultra Pick. Wow. <laughs> that is interesting. I didn't know that mattered. Oh, I guess because if they do a teleport, you do a Raging Demon, right? And then he wants to counter the Raging Demon of Ultra 2. Is that the reason? I I think that Ultra 2 will counter teleport. Hmm. Maybe that's the reason. Okay, so it was a blind Ultra pick and yeah, based off the matches and sometimes escape options, if a Kuma, if the Kuma player did a teleport, the Kuma player would respond with a Raging Demon to catch the teleport. But since they want to do a blind Ultra pick because they want to do Ultra 2, so if they try to attempt to do a Rage Demon, they would use Ultra 2 to counter it. That is my theory. And yes. And we're going to do a button check. We're going to do a button check, huh? Okay. So <laughs> I want to see. What? I want to see this Raging Demon come out. And I want to see Infiltration land this Ultra 2 because I have never seen he turned that. turned off one of his buttons. I've never seen that before. See that? Who, who turned off the button? Infl infiltration turned off one of his buttons. Because you know the thing is, when you're side by side, the buttons the buttons are pretty loud. So you know if someone presses a button, a lot of people, even though they don't intend to hear it, they so you're saying that he turned the button off to use to use the fake button. Yes. Dirty. I mean, it's a, sometimes you have to be you have to have psychological advantage, right? Well, I mean, hey, Team Korea does have their back against the wall, right? Yeah. Well, they both have. 4-4? Four, four. Yeah, well, yeah, but, uh, you know, I would argue that uh, Team Korea has a little bit more at stake. That's true. Because, they, like, they Team Canada is not expected. Canada 2? Okay, all right. Well, I don't think any of this shit is going to matter in a second anyways. Yeah. They, 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 Korea did say in the trailer that they were going to take this, you know? And they said they were, specifically, they were coming to beat Team Canada. Yeah. So, but the, but but that but they 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 should they mean they want to beat Joe Zier. right? Because Joe Zier was the one that bodied them, <laughs> right? Ooh! Oh wow, that was true. Yeah, infiltration going in hard. Teleports out. Oh, oh my god, my he is running a gosh. train. The thing is, if you would think infiltration would know this match just because he played Takedo in a long set. I don't know. It doesn't, <laughs> I, I, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. It's over. If Shinokuma can make a godlike comeback, I will buy him dinner right now. Uh oh. Oh, he could have off cut it right there, right? Uh oh. Okay, uh. he teleported. Oh. The sweeps. Shinokuma's not giving up. It's never over, so it's over. Yeah, he's not really. It's A, baby. He's not really doing anything, though. I mean, he's at least as as long as Infiltration is not mauling him, he kind of is doing something because of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we get saved by Sweep right. though. Nice okay, uh, Team Korea takes it. Team uh, Canada two is eliminated. Uh, team Korea will be going up in the next round against your team, Justin Long, yes. USA one. Next up, uh, we are going to have. Uh, okay. 